Thank you very much. A mother whose son was paralyzed after a shooting joins other victims' families to change the law and push for more transparency in the judicial system. She helped see a bill through the state committee last week, and today it goes before the full House in this year's legislative session. Meg Ferris has her story. By the Lake Terrace Fountain in August, Noah Hansard was finishing up his nightly lakefront walk. He liked to look at the wildlife. That's when two juveniles jumped out of a car and robbed him at gunpoint. The driver got out and I could feel that it was a little bit like the air, air was getting more aggressive in thinking of, well, what else, are gonna, what, are the, what else do they have to take other than my life? His mother, Elizabeth, knew something was wrong when he didn't text her. And I ran across the neutral zone, and the NOPD stopped me. And I said, is it Noah? And they said, yes, he's been shot and taken to UNC. Blood given by EMS and surgery at the trauma center saved him. But wounds from a bullet still inside of him took his ability to walk. Elizabeth already lost her only other son as a baby. <laughs> I told him thank you for not leaving me. And he gave me a little thumbs up because he was intubated. Noah's care is now 24 hours, but in between, his mother Elizabeth is fighting for victims' rights, testifying in Baton Rouge to pass state legislation, forcing the judicial system to be more transparent. The victim coordinators the, uh, do not provide the information that I believe they are required to provide in there's a Bill of Rights, a Louisiana Bill of Rights, and it clearly states, for example, that all victims should be advised of every court case appearance, and, and they have the right to attend. One of the two juveniles has been caught, but Noah's not allowed to know about his prior record. That would help in deciding if they agreed with plea deals. They want a public portal so families can easily see upcoming court dates and decisions. They don't want it written in legal terms. Now Noah's working on finishing his college degree at UNO in naval engineering. He's not angry because he looks forward, knowing he can only change the future for himself and maybe other victims. You would hope that they would catch both, considering it was such a violent crime. It doesn't always work down here. It's, 